RV show season has wrapped up and everybody talks about the big guys. This big brand, that big brand. But nobody expected that the number one selling floor plan would be coming from a manufacturer that's not too popular in the RV industry. This is the 2024 Primetime Sanibel Model 3952 FBWB that has an awesome front bunk bed style, office style in the front living room part. We're gonna be showing you guys all the features and we're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. I might have botched the intro, I'm not sure. What I'm trying to say is, yes, all the big guys that are super popular, they sold a ton during the RV shows, but I don't think a singular floor plan just one has sold as much as this one here, one of the most super popular units in the industry. So before I begin, gotta say hi to Will. Hey Will! Hey guys! Am I confusing the people or, or what am I trying to say? Maybe a little bit, but it's all good. What I, what I absolutely love is like the big I, three, the uh, RV industry is all R&D, research and duplicate. What I absolutely love is the smaller ones to compete with the bigger brands have to come up with cool and unique floor plans. They gotta innovate. Exactly what they did with this floor plan. Yes! It is, there's nothing else like it, and it's such a good floor plan, I love it. Well, nothing more needed to be said. That's right. Let's begin. All right. Model is the 3952 FBWB. The actual tip tip length is 42 feet, six inches. The dry weight is 13,088 pounds. The hitch weight is 2,362 pounds. 54 gallons of fresh water, 78 gallons of both gray and black water, the Sanibel. This is a very unique unit. It's like a mid-pro wide body, you know what kind I'm saying? Kind of, yeah. Not quite a full pro, still kind of a mid-pro, kind of in, a, in its own little unique thing. See that sold sticker? Yep. This unit sold. Not only that, there's another customer coming to look at this unit to order one. Right. That's how popular this floor plan has been this year. Oh yeah. Painted fiberglass front cap, LED lights here, with the Rhino pin box right here. Okay. It's coming all down here. We do got storage right here. Very awesome. nice. Coming up. Oh, Ooh. Dang. Oops, dang. Oh. Good. That kind of hurt. I was worried it was going to be a wasp. <laughs> right. I'm like, I got neck damage, but at least it's not a wasp. Yeah, no kidding. Where did they go? Or did they come in the summer? Summer. Yeah. Remember last summer? Yeah, there's a lot of them. Yeah. Right over here, we do got propane tank. Okay. Six point electric leveling, so not the hydraulic. Okay. But at least it is six point. Okay. A nice little D ring. Nice. To uh, leash up your furry friends. Okay. Well, now I know how you feel hitting your head on something. Right. And then right here, we do have very awesome storage. Pass through. Not the biggest, but definitely not the smallest. Pretty good for this size of a unit. Yeah. Coming on down here, we got an entrance door solid steps not not assisted okay okay and then right here love this handle right here and then right here you got a beer opener Psh, America. America John Cena and this unit's bath and a half I love it there's a lot of great things that this floor plan is doing oh yeah go on the inside finishing up on the outside Will look at these tires they're the saloons I love those 235-80R16, and I can't see the suspension. Just standard. Standard suspension, okay. Again, th this, this Santa Bell, it falls in a unique category where it's like, it's its own kind of class. Yep. Right here we have a nice bumper for the Stinky Slinky. Spare tire, spare tire carrier, prep for the Furion backup camera. Okay. Right here, 50 amp service. There's where you all uh, dump your tanks right there. There you go. Yes, sir. It is a division of Forest River, so it does come with the TST tire press monitoring. Okay. Wrap it on up. You got a water heater here. Very nice. And then here's your wet bay, outdoor shower, city water connection, black tank flush, everything right there. Love it. And another propane tank. Well, well, the outside of this unit looks great. Nah. <laughs> Mediocre on the outside, truthfully. Okay. But the inside is a yes. 10 out of 10. Would recommend. 
show up front first. Okay. Come on, well, let's uh, take a look. All right. Wow. Just show the middle part first and then go up. Okay. All right. So in the middle, you have a nice kitchen, living area, and I guess dining area. But then going up front, this is what is so awesome. You have four bunk beds right here. You have a desk for the kids or the adults to get their work done. You have a half bath here. And entertainment center. And then coming back. This is this is a great floor plan for This you. is a phenomenal floor plan, yeah. <clears throat> You have the main bedroom right here. Wow. The and lights aren't even on in here. Bathroom in the back. Oh, they're not? Yeah, come on back up here. Okay. Well, now look at it. Right, even better. Well, this is such a beautiful unit. Before we show everybody the inside, let's take a quick moment to thank the sponsor of today's episode. It's officially 2024, and that means it's RV show season. Hundreds and thousands of people across the country are gonna be buying and trading in their RVs. And it doesn't matter if you're looking at an entry-level travel trailer or a top-of-the-line motorhome. One way that RV manufacturers love to save money is by putting in a cheap mattress. And that's because they know that you're just gonna take the mattress out and replace it anyway with something that fits your sleeping style. That's why we partnered with RVMattress.com, a Brooklyn bedding company. They saw a huge opportunity in the industry to make custom sized mattresses that are perfect for RVers. They're able to cut out the middleman markups because they have a factory in Arizona. And what that means is they're able to give you the highest quality mattress at a factory direct price. Not only that, they do free shipping and 120 night sleep trial guarantee and they'll ship it straight to your house or campground. I've been using my mattress from RVMattress.com for two years now in both my Class C motorhome and travel trailer, and I absolutely love it. Click our link down below and check out their website and use promo code MATT for 25% off your order. Thank you so much to RVMattress.com for sponsoring today's video. Let's continue the video. And we're back, just like that. Somebody's coming. Is it them? No, it's not. Okay. But that is a full golf cart, isn't it? That Will, sure show that is. golf cart. <laughs> Bring the whole family when you're coming to General RV. Yes. Will, right up front here, we have awesome cabinet, not cabinetry, we got awesome balances. balances right here. Look at these slow ride shades. Yep. There's not one there. But the slow ride shades, I'm loving it. One, two, three, four, five. Everybody sits on the sofa slide. <laughs> hey, <laughs> look at this. I love it. Five theater seat. Thomasville collection. Love it. Yes. Very and nice. they all recline. Yes. And I'll talk about that a little later. Remind okay. me to mention this. Okay. You think I'm going to mention it in the pros or the cons? I don't know. You'll find out. And it all sits directly across from the TV televator. Love this. You got really great looking storage. Look at the you do, uh, yeah. Look at this compared to that. Right. This drops the down contrast. to make a bed. Yes. That so, doesn't make a oh bed. Oh my god, it drops down to give you a window. You knock your head that bad. Yeah, no, he's in that bit and work it. Right here. Nice solid surface. Furion speaker on the outside. Fireplace that does produce a heat from electricity. And again, all of that's directly across from the sofas here. And Will, where the heck's the dinette? Just this, which I actually really like this. Honestly, this can sleep what? Uh, one, two, four, five, six, maybe a little more. Six like, or seven. You're not eating inside anyway. Right, so, right. You know, when the kids get up and they need a bowl of cereal, they can sit here. And you got a breakfast bar. You got a breakfast bar, that's all you need. And listen, they got table, picnic tables outside. Exactly. Or you're going out to a nice restaurant. Show us this awesome kitchen. Nice little storage here. Coffee nook with power, nice backsplash right there. Storage underneath, and then under that is your breakers and fuses. Really good sized pantry. I like how it's wide and not too deep. Yes. So you can actually see everything. Yes. And you definitely need a big pantry like that for all the people you'd be feeding in here. 
Nice Furion side by side refrigerator. Man. That Love is it. a good size. It sure is. Working our way down. Storage here. Wine rack up top. Storage there. And a nice big microwave right there. Yes, sir. Again, nice tile backsplash. Good countertop space on both sides mm. of the four burner. Cooking with contour. Cooking with contour. Um, of it. Open it, open it, Will. We're ready for it. There you oh, go. Oh, that is a very good size, actually. It is. Turkey tested? Doesn't say turkey approved, but I think it's turkey approved. I mean, open that. Yeah, you can fit a turkey. Come on, come on, Turkey approved. I like that. Is this a drawer or is this just the. Oh, it is. Man. Then you had that side drawer that I missed. Okay, right there. Yep. And then I got one right here as well. Awesome. What's this? That's the uh, controls for the TV and the lights. Yeah, lights. Nice. Over here, you have a nice extension faucet. Big single bowl sink with the insert. I mean, with the little drying rack thing right here. Very nice. Solid surface countertops, and they look really, really nice throughout the whole kitchen. And then under here, nice storage. I kind of forgot to mention, I love the kitchen cabinet colors in here. Yes. Like, there's different colors, two-tone. Well, like those are, but they, what is it? Uh-oh, what is that from outside? I guess. Dang. Uh, they contrast really well. You got a good head of hair, Will. You got to keep it looking nice for everybody. Right. They ain't looking at my hair. <laughs> <laughs> nice storage all the way down. Yes. That's it. And then you showed this? I did, yep. Perfect. Well, Will, do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time for the, the MSRP. MSRP. <laughs> MSRP on this unit here. And this one's sold. MSRP is 100 and so this one's sold. MSRP on stock number 300851 in our Salt Lake City, Utah store is $106,536. Will, that is MSRP. Yep. Sale price, Miss Jen, please put the sale price right there for everybody to see who's watching on television. And Will, that is a phenomenal price. But of great as a price as that is, in as awesome of a floor plan as it is, I know we can get everybody a little bit of a better price than that. All you guys got to do is go to generalrv.com slash mattscash. We've linked it down in the YouTube description below. You guys can get there from mattsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Reach out to us and a member of our team will reach back out to you guys and get you the absolute best price in America. Also, if you did buy an RV from General RV this year, send me an email, matt at mattsrvreviews.com, and I'll mail you a prime poop position bobblehead and... From two days ago's videos, Will. Yes. What was the word? Manifold? No, they were just supposed to give their three likes and dislikes, right? But hashtag manifold. Oh, yeah. Hashtag manifold. Bing! Congratulations to the winner who's right here. Uh, I've We've already sent you a message, but if this is you, send me an email and we'll mail you a prime poop position bottle. There you go. Will, I'm going on up. We're going upstairs? First, look at these steps. Right. Inside this amazing bunk room. Well, I'm a, almost a little too too short. Can you get yeah, that one over there? I don't there? know if I can. Yes, you can. Oh, yeah, I can. He did it. Well, yeah. the people who are buying this this show season, they don't have kids. They're right. using this for storage. I know. They're, they're using this for office. And maybe they do have a grandkid that comes with them. And if they do, they got plenty of bunk space. But then look at this. Awesome entertainment center. Storage there. Nice drawers. Good color schemes in here Very as well. Very good color scheme, yeah. Nice TV, same storage on this side as well. I mean, talk about having an ultimate office. Right, right. right. You know what I'm saying? And check it out. There's probably people that just want to remove that all together. Yeah. And they probably can, but they got to keep this side. And look at this. You got a nice office area. Set up your laptop. You got power, USB and USB-C. That's right. Nice drawers here. I mean, come on, Will. Talk about the ultimate remote worker. Oh, having yeah. Their office, yeah. Writing their memoir. Well, look, with a great view of the lake. Or campground. Yeah. Phenomenal. And having their own private bathroom. You know what? This tells me of a book we got to shout out. Okay. Shout out to RV Love for making these two books. Bing! I forget what they're called. But if you guys ever want to 
go full timing in RVing and read an awesome two books. Yeah. These are two books right there. Mark and Julie Ben, they're our friends. No affiliation. But those are two great books, and they work from the road. That's oh, yeah. That's why I thought about them. Okay. They didn't write a memoir, but All right. make sure you guys check out those books on Amazon. Yeah. I actually think they're like the number one RV traveling book people. Okay. Which is funny. Because we just know them as Mark and Julie. Mark and Julie Bennett from RV Love. See, this is why I feel like manufacturers shouldn't do a half bathroom. Why? Because this is a prime poop position. Ding! I'm just kidding. This is fantastic. Right, I know. This is fantastic. I feel like a lot of times they do put in a half bath and it doesn't fit. This Not in one, here, though. This one, if it fits, it chips. Oh, yeah. Coming on down here, a fireplace in the master bedroom. I love that. Uh, the master bedroom in the master bedroom. What I mean is, look at the head height Will has in here. See, this is, I love this. We always end up with a front bedroom, right? Yep. And with that, you're raised up. And sometimes even in these floor plans, they'll raise the rear to give you storage underneath. But this feels so much more comfortable for somebody who's taller like me. You don't want to raise the rear. You want yeah. to raise the roof. That's right. Whoop, whoop. Yep. Raise the roof. Whoop, whoop. It's getting <laughs> hot in here. You're having, you have too much energy today. <sighs> you know what's funny? What? When people meet me at RV shows, they're like, Matt, you're not as energetic. It's like, I've been standing here for 68 hours right. in the sun. Right? You catch me first day on a Wednesday of the Super Show, I'm good. Yeah. Don't tell me I don't have energy when it's 3 o'clock on a Sunday, you know? Right. Like, I don't care who you are, that's tough. Right. Right there. That one's broken. Why would you say that? It's not broken. Know. It was just off the track a little oh, bit. Oh, okay. Good storage here. You know what? Well, nobody nobody asked for your opinion. Actually, technically, if they're watching this, I think we are asking for your opinion. Right. But you know what I'm saying. It's not broken. I kind of like how the TV would go up there, too, because it's like oh. out of the way, you know? Very nice. Like, it's kind of weird how high it is, but like, do the pros outweigh the cons, you know? Do they, do they? That is the question. And then over here, Will, king size bed. I love that headboard. Mm -hmm. That is my favorite. The pillows match the <clears throat> cabinetry inside. This whole thing flows well together. You got little end tables there, storage above there. This is just a beautiful RV overall. Yeah. It really, really is. And then to wrap it on up, Will, your one opinion we want the most in this world, go stand in that shower, okay. sir. Go stand in that shower. Again, they didn't raise the rear. They raised the roof. They raised the roof. Hey, hey. So there's plenty of head height in here. Really good width and depth. This is an awesome shower and it passes. Ding! That's the shower test seal of approval. Sure is. Get on out of there, Will. Okay. One thing, well, I'll, I'll tell you about it when we go over the likes and dislikes. Okay. But I love the fact that you're able to get storage or prep for a stackable washer and dryer. Yes. Right over here. Porcelain toilet. This is the primest of pooping positions. Bing! Will. Yeah. No. I'm going to throw some shade at prime time, and I don't mean to. We sell so many prime times, but nobody comes to the dealership to buy a prime time. Right. They come to buy a Grand Design, an Alliance, a Brinkley, the flashy brands, mm -hmm. the brands that work with influencers. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, the Tiffins, the, the, you know, the, the name brands. But let me tell you something. Just because people walk in with asking for one brand, a lot of times they leave with another brand. And let me tell you, there was so many people and that bought this unit and we're all like, well, what'd you buy? They're like, I don't know. It was that prime time. Yeah. And I'm like, you mean the one with the front office yeah. bedroom? They're like, yeah, that one. Yep, yep. Dude, keep, what I'm trying to say is prime time keep coming out with these floor plans and you will be better than everybody else you know yeah, for sure because it's such a phenomenal unit and so many things that they do in here is just so right and the colors look good and you don't need to be the namest of brands of course to have a phenomenal product yep nice mirrored medicine cabinet here okay love the double sink for sure solid surface countertop we got storage here Three nice drawers. Now, Will, I say that, 
like you don't always need to buy the name brand stuff. You're right. good with no name stuff. That goes to most everything in life, except RV toilet treatment. Oh, liquefied. Our named brand of RV toilet tank treatment. Guys, we got sensor cleaner, toilet bowl cleaner, and our happy powder, which is competition to happy camper, oh, just on. like that. The camera didn't adjust, show it again. There it is. There we go. So if you Ooh, it smells good, actually. I know, it smells like oranges. It does. It actually really does smell good, but that's a pain in the butt to sprinkle, but that's not up to me to decide. Right. I prefer the liquid. Some people like the drop in, some people like that. Search on Amazon Liquefied RV to find all of your toilet bowl cleaning needs. That's right. And with that said, Will, that is it. That's a review. You guys aren't going to want to miss this because now it's time for three things that we love about this unit, three things that we don't like about it. Will, what do you want to do first? Let's do dislikes first. Okay, you ready for this? Yeah. You know how I always say I don't mind the six point electric I was thinking that, yeah. This is a big mamma jamma, Will. I know. It does need to be upgraded, I think. <sighs> And I hate saying that because that's going to take it from 106 to 112 or something I know. like that. But this is maybe a, oh, maybe like an eighth or maybe like the JT Strong Arms or something. What I mean is it's not the electric. It's like I just want beef. Yeah. Because this is a huge fifth wheel. It is. It is. That is number one. Well, what's this like too? This is not necessarily something that would bother me personally, but I think it's something that would bother Jen. And I hear a lot about and that is that you cannot access the bathroom without going through one bedroom or the other. So you either have to go through this bedroom mm. or you have to go through the upstairs bedroom to get to one of the bathrooms. That's great. Well, that's number two. Congratulations to Cheyenne's customers. I don't know their names and I don't want to say it, but they drove by on the golf cart earlier. Nice. I was showing them the Thor Ace and I'm pretty sure they bought that one. Congratulations to them. Guys, drop a comment down below. We're thinking about doing something fun. What if Will and I became RV salespeople for a week? And like a certain week of the year at a certain store, you guys book appointments with us and we become your salespeople, but for like one week only. Yeah. Drop a comment down below. Let us know if you would like that. Okay. Right? Like. Oh yeah, I think that'd be fun. I think it'd be fun too. Um, and then we just, you know, we, we wouldn't be the salespeople. Well, we would, but like, we would also assign a salesperson to follow up with of you. Of course, after make sure the, the delivery goes good, all yeah, that yeah, stuff. Yeah. That's three things we. Oh no, that's dislike number two. Mm -hmm. I got my dislike number three. Okay. Which is over here. Well, I do not like this sofa. Sorry about the jump skip, y'all, but uh, Will had to run inside. Well, the people came, and now Will's on a business meeting. So I'm going to wrap up the video solo. Dislike number three for me is going to be this sofa. I don't know. I don't know who Thomasville is. It doesn't look like it properly fits. I, and I don't like these uh, spaces here. Um, definitely should have put some end tables or something like that. But for me, I am just not super, super a fan of those. So that is three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things that we love about this unit. With that said, love number one is the sofas. Don't give me a dinette. We don't need a dinette. Give me five cedar sofas. So many times these units sleep six, seven people, but they only have two seats right here and a dinette. So I much prefer this over having a dinette. That is love number one. Love number two is these beautiful color schemes in here. Absolutely fantastic and phenomenal. I love the way it looks. I love the front bunk office area. I love the floor plans, the color schemes, and everything about this unit. That's like number two, and like number three has to be the big master bedroom, the headboard and everything, followed up by a phenomenal master bathroom. This bathroom's absolutely fantastic, y'all. One of the biggest and best bathrooms in the RV industry, and I think that is fan-freaking-tastic. Well, guys, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in buying this RV or any RV, please go to GeneralRV.com backslash Matt's Cash. We've linked it down in the YouTube description below. You guys can get there from MattsRVReviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Please reach out to us. Send me an email, Matt at MattsRVReviews.com. Get in contact with us anyway. I don't care if it's the super popular brand in the world or this brand with a phenomenal floor plan, a million dollar diesel pusher, or a $12,000 travel trailer. We are here to help everybody get the absolute best price in America. Thank you again so much for watching. And again, sorry for the jump cuts and the jump edits and kind of cutting this video short. But 
please leave a comment down below. Let us know three things that you like about this animal and three things you don't like about it. Make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button and subscribe. We'll see you next time.